What can we expect with James Harden, or what did you find out about that injury? Yeah, he lasted 43 seconds. You didn't see him again. I thought it was interesting after the game. I once had a guy tell me when I first started covering uh, sports, a guy from the New York Times, he said, never underplay an injury. And after games, if a guy's not hurt, the team will always say it's not that bad. If it's a bad injury, they'll always say, no, we don't really know. And after the game, that's what you were kind of getting from the Brooklyn Nets. And then Steve Nash said, I'm heartbroken for James. Why would you be heartbroken for him if he's going to come back anytime soon? And then Kevin Durant made it seem like it's going to be a long-term thing. Just remember this, Dan. When Harden got uh, same hamstring, right hamstring injury, he was out from April 7th until May 12th. So that, you know, that should kind of give you some indication of where this could be. Yeah, I was wondering about that, the severity. He knew right away, but I've said this the last couple of weeks, whether it was LeBron's ankle, it was AD's groin, it was Harden's hamstring, these injuries don't go away. They linger, you manage them, maybe they cool down a little bit, but if LeBron kept playing, that ankle would be a problem at some point in the playoffs. And I think with Anthony Davis, the groin injury was not going to go away. And the same thing with James Harden. And I just don't know. It sounded like it's far more severe than than at least it looked because he just sort of went up, oh, felt it, I'm gone. I don't know if he's going to be out as long as he was before because a lot of that could have been just precautionary. Yes. But this is now, you know, now you got the Milwaukee Bucks, and if the Bucks win tonight, you know, at some point, you know, can you say to James Harden, we need you? I know, but you know, the, probably the most famous hamstring injury in the playoffs, I guess, would be Magic when they played Detroit when Detroit won its first title, yeah. and he was unable to play. I, th- I also think you're right about the idea that they did hold him out for that long stretch because they knew that they were sitting in a good position. They were either going to finish second or third, and that James Harden would eventually return. I don't know if we're going to see him again in this series, and that could be an issue. Now, Mike James, who began the season in Russia, took those minutes. He played 30 minutes. In game one, he had 12 points. Chris Middleton had 13. Yeah. So Mike James coming off the bench, a guy that nobody's even heard of, you know, did a really good job. But I wonder how – to me, they could still win if it's Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. That's how good those two players are. But the road to winning a championship just became that much harder for the Brooklyn Nets.